Hey guys, guy to six name to Welcome back to another review. But today, reviewing something a little bit different. As you guys, I'm reaching off camera to get it because apparently I keep everything over to my right hand side. Don't know why. Uh, well, you guys might know I collect uh, Marvel Universe figures. Just do. I actually quite like Marvel Universe. I know a lot of people hate Marvel Universe. I think they're a change on these bigger type of figures, and they get a lot of movement out of them. And there's not too much paint bleeding and all that. And when people release these sizable figures, it's good to get Marvel Universe with them. But enough talking. Today we're going to look at Marvel's The Four, The Dark Side of the World. Uh, not the dark side of the world, sorry. The Dark World, I got Transformers on the brain for some reason. The Dark World, Marvel's Curse. Here he is. A very nice looking piece here. As you can see on top of the box, uh, I paid £9 for this, so hopefully it'll be worth it. Uh, it says Marvel for the Dark World. Not bad, not bad uh, uh, film. Uh, it was actually better than the first one, in my opinion. We have four up there with the helmet on. Uh, one thing I've seen on this. Let me place this down here. Let me place this down. I can place that down as well. One thing I have seen though is uh, the figure hasn't got much colouring on it. But the, the actual. Uh, I think this should be coloured by here. But I don't know if it's actually coloured in the film. And the film is out, so I'll be getting that very soon. So I'm not going to take things off that. And one thing I do like is they have the grenades and the thin spoilers. Spoilers if you haven't seen the film. You may want to take it out. I'm going to give you a second. Be I've given you more than a second now. Uh, sorry about I have to keep dropping out these reviews. Everybody wants to be at once. I know I'm popular. Not really. Nerds are never popular. Unless you are a nerd and you're popular, then uh, leave the comment down below and tell me because you are lucky. You are lucky. Although I do have really, 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 really good friends. It's not how many people, it's how good they are. Huh, see what I did there? Thumbs up from Guy to <laughs> Okay, if we turn around the box, we have a really neat picture of a uh, curse. Uh, spoilers, by the way, I've given you more than enough time to log off, but I'm just going to give you more because I'm nice. Alright, that's enough. Um, these grenades is what kills him because they suck up like fins and his spine snaps and then explodes. It's really cool, actually. <laughs> uh, I have a very faint memory of this film, though. Uh, other figures you could get, Loki. Now, Loki was the one I was actually looking for in Hamleys. If you don't know, Hamleys is one of the best toy stores. You could check out uh, Hamleys on hamleys.co.uk if you live in the UK. Just wanted to point that out there. Um, but Loki is the one I was really looking for. They had this four, and they had a variation of four with a helmet on. But Curse really is a thing for me. I, I wouldn't mind this four, really. Because it more depicts him from the film, and I wouldn't mind getting this. Uh, I already have one, like a Marvel Universe version of the comics. It's more based on the comics. But, uh, yeah. Loki would have been really cool to get. But anyways, we're going to have a look. Uh, I'm going to open this up. You guys, I'm going to just cut off the camera. And when I open this up, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on Marvel's. Cause, now, one thing I just want to say. Why have they got to put the Avengers symbol on the background? It's four, not Avengers. Get it right. I, I just don't like how they, they're putting Avengers stuff on other products. This should be in a hammer, maybe. Just don't like the Avengers logo on a four thing. I, it just, it's just a minor grab, though, for the packaging. Packaging looks really nice, so eye-catching, to say the least. All right, guys. Be back with you. Two seconds. You can see my reflection. Hello. All right, guys. Here's Marvel's Curse out of the packaging. Before we uh, actually have a look at this really good figure, if I'm honest, uh, quite a good figure here. Uh, place him down here. Uh, stand up. Really? One gripe I have with this figure is you, you got to have him in this like type of position the game standing up. Don't know why. But let's have a look at this really small piece now. I understand why the point with him is the type of the thing that killed him. But they had it on the belt buckle, so. And this is really way, 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 and I've dropped it now, and it's gone underneath my stand. We'll get that later. But it has a really nice sculpt for such a small thing. Just take my word for it. Uh, I think it's just this. 
then take it off. But yeah, we do actually have four, three of these sculpted, so I don't know whether he tried to throw the fourth one. But let's actually have a look at the figure. Now we're going to start off with the face. The head sculpt, uh, not not just the head sculpt, but the the actual head is fantastic. It it really is. It looks really eye catching to me. Uh, I really like these horns we have here. Just a really nice piece that we have here uh, today. And the sculpt on it is not bad. I thought the sculpt was going to be a bit poor or lazy. But the, the sculpt on it is actually really good. Let's just go have a look at his head here. I, I really want to get the foreign Loki now so I can just pose this guy. Uh, on the side of them, because this guy would just look fantastic, and I love these little bone marks here and going along. Really, really nice piece. Uh, this is what I mean by the sculpt. You could see all these individual type of scratches and flesh being, you know, scratched. <laughs> One thing I could say, that he could have used a little bit more colouring on this buckle, because I swear that there was colouring on it in the film. But actually, they may not have been thinking back on it now. But, <coughs> sorry. But, I'll have to check about that. I really like the hands. Look, this is one especially, this claw hand is really nice. I, I like the colouring that they went with for the bones and claws. I could have used a little bit more colouring on this figure, I, I'm not going to argue with that, but I, I mean, the colouring on the bones is spot on. A really nice, realistic type of colouring for bone, bone, bare bones. Uh, we have these spikes on the side of his foot there. Even the feet look really nice. The boots, they could have I don't know whether I actually know. I know the boots were completely black, I think. But we could just about make out some boots out of this. If you're wondering what that white is, it's just like, you know, those little pins. But, really nice piece. And I don't have anything to size it up with actually thinking about it. Bugger. <laughs> Uh, all my other ones are in another house just displayed because that's where I usually keep all my other stuff because it only lives down the street, to be honest, so and I have like a proper room in there where I can pose because my room is out room yeah, but uh let's have a look at the articulation on this guy he has a ball jointed head I believe yeah, ball jointed head I believe the arms can go in and out, not far, but in and out, 360, and uh, bend in the elbow, same for the other arm, I believe. A little bit stiffer on this arm, but I kind of prefer that. The more stiffer they are, I mean they're not going to fall off. No stomach crunch, now it does look like there is some sort of stomach crunch by there. Oh, not even a swiggle in the waist. A little disappointing there. I would have preferred a stomach crunch and a swiggler in the waist. No, no swiggler in the waist there. Really looks like there's a swiggler in the waist. But there's no swiggler in the waist. Arms, uh, legs can go backwards and forwards, not far. Uh, it's kind of restricted by this cloak he's wearing. Go backwards and forwards. Bends, bend at the knee. And no swiggle in the... F well, actually, and it swiggles about in the knee point as well. But no swiggle in the foot or no articulation in the toes. Don't mind the toe articulation, but a swiggle in the foot would have been nice. Uh, you can't get him in too many poses. I'm trying to I'm trying to make my own pose now. Hold on. That's it. One of the only things that popped up in mind. That that even looks like a pretty good pose in my opinion. Don't fall over. Yeah, the other gripe I have with this is I've been trying to. Uh, stand him up. Hasn't been going well. Let me just say that. It hasn't been going well. Uh, but, apart from that, 
I really do like this figure. I would recommend picking him up if you do collect Marvel Universe figures. Uh, but seriously, yeah, if you have a full figure or anything, I suggest picking him up. Alright guys, tell me, do you uh, own this figure? What do you think of it? Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Video and you enjoyed my other videos on the channel because just don't subscribe to all because of one video. Alright guys, see you next time for a special type of review uh, coming up that I have next. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time.